wash away if I was you before it gets nicked. Yeah, sure. Come on. It's just around the corner. I'm really sorry. It's OK, really it is. I look after you. Look, this is a mistake. It's not. You're just a bit nervous, that's all. I'm not nervous. I'm a police officer. No one's perfect. No, you don't understand. I'm on duty. What do I care? As long as you pay. Sadie, no. Where is he? Who? Harry. The old fella from this morning. I don't know what you're talking about. What's going on? Keep out of it. It's only your business. The old man you were going to fleece. Have you seen him? Why would I have seen him? He said he was coming to find you. I've seen him. I've seen Harry. Who wants to know? Guy McFadden. His son-in-law. Who are you? PC Valentine, Sunhill. <laughs> You're arresting her? Good. I'm not arresting her, I'm arresting you. Me? I haven't done anything. Strange, you were caught on CCTV earlier today at this cash point, pushing Harry over and robbing him. Guy McFadden, I'm arresting you on suspicion What's... of robbery. Guy McFadden, I'm arresting you on suspicion of robbery. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Come on, mate. And this woman sounded genuine? Completely. Calm and to the point. And has Ramini ever mentioned anyone who's been given any trouble? Not that I remember. Work was never something she spoke to me about, even when we were together. And now, no way. Any news? No. We've contacted everyone that she worked with recently and we're going through her case files, but so far, nothing. Well, where is she? Everything's gone. Where were you? Down in the pub with Jimmy. Phoned me up, said no hard feelings, you fancy a drink. It's a stitch up, isn't it? Point of entry is the back window. Colin Adams, Emma. Well, Jimmy gets you out for a drink, Colin breaks in. I want them done. They already have been. Look, we're chick on it, but the chances are they're just going to deny it. They're already on bail for burglary. They're not going to admit to it this time. No, I mean, you never know. We could be wrong. Be hard to prove. Don't even think about the insurance. Yeah, because we spoke to them already, remember? They'd be very suspicious of any sudden claims. What am I going to do, then? Forget it. What? Well, they've had one over on you, you've had one over on them, end of. Honour amongst thieves and all that. Thanks for nothing. We'll uh, leave you to it, then, shall we? Why beat up your father-in-law? I didn't beat him up. I just... I wanted to stop what he's doing with that tunnel. Why? Because it's disgusting. It's tearing his daughters apart. I can't stand by anymore and watch what he's doing to them. He's spending all his money on that woman. He's lonely. So get a hobby. He's got family, grandkids he could spend time with. It's not as if we neglect him. Well, maybe he needs something else. It's easy for you to say. How would you feel if it was your dad? Can't you just try talking to him? We have a million times. He won't listen. Today was no different. My wife got him home from the hospital, they had a blazing round when he walked out. <laughs> Made no secret of where he was going. So why do you think he's gone now, then? Looks like you got to his trollop first. He's probably in that bar right now, trying his luck with another one. Come on. Ramini! What's going on? I've got about ten messages on my mobile. Where have you been? At a multi-agency meeting. We've been going crazy here looking for you. Why? What's the matter with everybody? You look like somebody's died. What's happened? Ramini? Brian. Oh, thank what is God. This? What's happened? <sighs> Brian got a call earlier saying you were dead. What? Someone rang me and said that you'd been killed. Who? We don't know. Well, maybe you misheard or something. It's not the type of thing you miss here, is it? But, I mean, who would ring up and say that I was dead? Well, can you think of anyone that might hold a grudge? You think this could be meant as some kind of threat? Not necessarily. But we should take it seriously, because whoever did this went to the trouble of getting Brian's number. But what are you saying, though? I mean, are you saying that somebody's out to get me? Next time on The Bill. Remember that when Kennedy reaps again. 
It'll be your fault because you didn't put him away when you had the chance. Can you just get him in the car? There is somebody out there. It's care, that's all. Well, I'd rather you didn't talk about me. I consider...